Hello, Deliverance Chronicles family. This is Wayne again, Deliverance Chronicles University. Today's section or this topic of destruction is strongholds. The word stronghold is found once in the Bible, once in the New Testament, and it is spoken of by Paul, and it is used metaphorically to describe what the Christian is up against in these tough cases where demons have built these walled embankments against the strong man to keep the strong man from the attacks or from our attempts to get him expelled. Second Corinthians 10 34 says this, though we walk in the flesh we do not walk according to the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal and are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of the fortress, i.e. stronghold. This passage reveals to us that our warfare is not dependent dependent on earthly stratagems, but they are solely dependent on the direction of the Holy Ghost in his omniscience to help us and guide us in helping the individual be delivered or us being delivered ourselves, depending on whether you are facilitating a deliverance or you are practicing self deliverance. Now, Ephesians 6, 14, we know the scripture all too well. It talks about the, uh, the armor of God. And it reads, stand therefore having fastened the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith and by which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So in essence, our weapons are not physical weapons for our warfare is spiritual in nature. And God has provided us his uh, armor that we may use against the kingdom of darkness. Now we must understand that God has already given us the armor. He is not going to place the armor on you. So then you may ask Wayne, how do I put on the armor of God? Just like we declare anything else in the realm of the spirit, we declare nightly or in the morning, whenever you choose to put it on, it should be on always. Cause we're always at war that I Wayne is going to place the armor of God on me. According to Ephesians six, 14 to 17. Uh, our power comes from God alone, meaning the strategies and the authority, the exousia and the, uh, the power comes from God. And God has a plan to demolish all spiritual strongholds, whether we believe it or not, and we must believe it in order for, be, for it to be effective because faith is still the vehicle by which we do all things, even when it comes to deliverance. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and 5 reads, we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Again, while doing the deliverance, or if you're an individual who's practicing deliverance on yourself, we know the thoughts that the enemy presents to us. And 2 Corinthians 10 and 5 is saying to us, we take those thoughts captive by understanding that they are based in lies. Okay? Strongholds of fortification that we face. In the very next verse, Paul interprets the metaphor or the arguments or the philosophies or the reasons or the schemes of the world, the pretensions having to do with anything proud, man-centered, and self-confident. Keep in mind, the demon is going to lie to you to get you to back away from being free, number one, and has been lying to you. And we have received some of these lies. And so this is why we are in agreement with these covenants, because we believe them, which gives the enemy to exact that very thing to make it truth in your life. Here's the picture. The Christian wearing his spiritual armor and bearing his spiritual weapons, we set out to conquer the world for Christ. But we soon find out that obstacles are being presented or erected against us to keep us from accomplishing uh, what we set out to accomplish. The fortified garrisons or the strongholds uh, resist the truth. Resist the truth of the plan of salvation, the plan of redemption, the plan of deliverance that God has set in place. There is a fortress 
for human uh, reasoning reinforced with the subtle arguments of the pretense of logic. We like to use logic to try to explain away what is not tangible dealing with these things from a spiritual perspective. Now, we must understand that logic is good, but there is a, 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 a revelation of understanding that defies logic because it is spiritually based and it operates in the legal parameters of the realm of the spirit that logic is not necessarily going to give you the solution or the answers or even the revelation of how to understand it, okay? Now, I always liken the strongholds that the enemy presents as Jericho. So Joshua chapter 6 is where we would find this information about Jericho. Jo Joshua chapter 6, 1 to 27. Read it for yourself. It is too long for me to read it out in the video. And lastly, Matthew 16, 18 says, and I tell you, you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Okay. This is Jesus talking to Peter, letting us know that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, meaning that we have the authority to be victorious even in these strongholds, these garrisons, these enwalled cities that are set up by the, the kingdom of darkness and the enemy to keep people from being uh, delivered. But know this, God has a strategy that gives us everything we need to set people free, to set ourselves free. We must be intuitive to the Holy Ghost for us to understand that he has provided us exactly what we need. Although we may have a script, for lack of a better word, that we use, the Holy Ghost usurps any script or any cookie cutter uh, designation for deliverance. We have parameters by which we operate, but the Holy Ghost is the presiding power that we use through his connection to us by his spirit for us to know what we can't otherwise know as the hidden things, the strategies of the enemy are revealed to us. The demons that are being, uh, that are in operations are being revealed to us and how to destroy and give freedom based on us facilitating deliverance to an individual or facilitating deliverance to ourselves. So I hope this section about strongholds makes it clear of what we are up against. Just want to say God bless you all.